Hello and welcome to Searching the Scriptures, a daily podcast where Bible topics will be discussed and Bible questions will be given Bible answers. No opinion, just Bible. For today's episode, we will be dealing with the question, how does Satan know what to tempt us with? The simple answer to this question is, he doesn't know. He makes guesses and is sometimes wrong. We can see this from the story of Job and how Satan tries to bring down Job unsuccessfully. In Job chapter 1, we read verses 8 to 11. So Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for nothing? Have you not made a hedge around him, around his household, and all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands, and his possessions have increased in the land. But now stretch out your hand and touch all that he has, and he will surely curse you to your face. Satan was very confident that if Job only had all of his possessions taken away, that he would not fear God. God allowed Satan to tempt Job in this way. All of his possessions were removed. Yet in Job 1 verse 22, In all this, Job did not sin nor charge God with wrong. Satan failed in this instance, but he didn't stop. He tried a different tactic. In Job chapter 2, we read verses 3 to 5. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered, my servant Job, that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, one who fears God and shuns evil? And still he holds fast to his integrity, although you incited me against him to destroy him without cause. So Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin. Yes, all that a man has he will give for his life. But stretch out your hand now and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will surely curse you to your face. God again allowed Satan to tempt Job in this way. He only told Satan, you can't kill him. But what happened in Job 2, verse 10? Uh, In all this, Job did not sin with his lips. Again, Satan was wrong about the character of Job. He, He tempted him in different ways. And in all of those temptations, he did not sin. Satan uses the same approach that advertisers use today. They don't know who will buy their products, so advertisers just flood the airwaves with multiple ads, hoping that a small percentage or a larger percentage will buy them. Satan does about the same thing. He floods the world with temptation, hoping to get nibbles here and there, and he is quite successful. For the most part, his effort is keeping the world in general in sin. But he especially focuses his attacks on those over whom he has lost control. In 1 Peter 5, we read verses 8 and 9, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him, steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. This is... The, 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 the fact that Satan doesn't know what to tempt us with specifically is why there are times when the opportunity to sin arises, but it doesn't tempt you. It is easily overcome. But at other times, a temptation arises that isn't so easily ignored, and you feel that you had to battle it with all your strength. Satan is throwing temptations out there. He is throwing temptations for everyone to sin. Everyone has their weaknesses. Everyone needs to work on their weaknesses, to grow in in faith, or to become a Christian so that they can have their sins washed away and that they can grow. They can overcome temptation without sinning. The devil does not have control of us. We are accountable for our own actions. We are going to give an account for what we do in the body, whether good or bad. Are you a Christian? If you are not a Christian, the brethren here in Toronto would love to study the Bible with you so that you could hear the word of God, believe it, and obey it before it is everlastingly too late. If you would like to set up a study, you can send us an email at Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. 
Well, that brings us to the end of another episode. Searching the Scriptures has been brought to you by the East End Church of Christ, which meets at 3601 Victoria Park Avenue, Suite 200, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Our hours of service are Sunday at 10 a.m. for Bible study and 11 a.m. for morning worship, as well as Wednesday at 7 p.m. for midweek Bible study. If you have any Bible questions that you would like to have answered during this podcast, you may email them to Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. That's Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Finally, if you'd like to catch up on any episode that you missed, you will find them at www.eastendchurch.org under the podcast tab found on the main page. I hope you found the few minutes that we spent together today useful in expanding your knowledge of what the Bible teaches. Please join me, the Lord willing, again in the next episode when we will be discussing another topic from God's Word. Until you listen again, keep searching the Scriptures to learn what God wants you to do. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.